Hey, how's it going my deadly mercenary family? Cosmic Mercenary here bringing you a new video and today we're actually going to do a Let's Play. Let's play another game and today I felt like, you know what's perfect in this heat, in this summer rain? Let's fall in love together. You got well not with me. I mean, you guys already love me. But let's fall in love with some anime girls. That's what I'm talking about, girl. I mean, we're not going to be playing Smash Battles, we're going to be playing a Winter's Daydream. So this is part one of a Winter's Playdream, and let's fall in love, baby. Let's you and I fall in love. So now, before I start, this is my first time starting this, so I don't know how this is going to go. Um, this is actually, this is actually a game that was on sale. And after I saw the synopsis, I'm like, no, you can't be that. Lifetime you, baby. Love time you were. I can't believe that it's gonna be the synopsis. But let, hey, let's let's play it out. You and I already lost my dignity. So what else can I lose, right? A winter's dream. Oh, so beautiful, so majestic. Reminds me of a uh, your name. If you ever, ever ever watched it. Ooh, that was a rough intro right there. Okay, so like I said, I got this for like two dollars in the Nintendo eShop. So, December twenty eighth, Thursday. Cool. It's only the twenty eighth of December, but snow is falling outside with the train windows. There wasn't any snow back in Tokyo, though the air was crisp and chilly, cold enough to make you borrow your hands a little deeper into your pocket. It didn't snow. It's different if you travel a little further north, though. It gets colder. Colder here. Much, much earlier. Everything is cold in the northern countryside. Everything except people's hearts. As my dad likes saying, <laughs> my dad can be pretty cheesy at times, but he might have a point. I've been living in Tokyo since spring this year. In the beginning, I was excited to get away from the dull countryside. I was raised in, but well, you know what they say, the grass is always greener on the other side, and people are never satisfied. <gasps> oh, oh, Hiroshima. Hiroshima? Hiroshima is like, a, I'm like, I oh, not Hiroshima. Let's not do that. When I left home, I soon discovered just how different the city was from everything I used to know. Well, that's what happens. I lived in the countryside all my life. All my life. And in a small town with a population of around 15,000 people. I'd taken it for granted. I knew the names of my neighbors and they knew mine. I thought it was normal that our family's cat Tama would sometimes stay with the elderly Mrs. Igarishi for days on end because he fed our picky feline better cuts of meat than we did. It was only to be expected that the clerk at the nearby groceries would give me a few extra sweet potatoes. Just a couple, just one or two. Come on, don't be too uh, <laughs> greedy here. Whenever I stopped by because he knew my younger sister, Otoko, was found, I was fond of him, of them. My hometown was much colder than Tokyo during the winter months. I can still remember scenes from my childhood where the snow piled up on the roads and fields and full five inches thick. Old roofs would strain beneath the burden of snowfall and my father would spend his days off work shuffling snow for our elderly neighbors. No matter how frigid the weather became in them, in my small town the people would always band together to help one another spearhead by gun ho eternally optimistic men like my father in my old man's words as the heart of the people were warm even if their hands were cold tokyo meanwhile is completely different in Tokyo, the streets are busy and buildings are big and the people, it's hard for me to describe them. That's because there are far too many of them. Tokyo isn't inhospitable, 
per se, but it's not the most welcoming of places, least of all to a boy like me, who grew up with such secular environment. Sec Seculated? I don't know. I was af afraid Tokyo would eat me up and spit me back out again. I think my parents were afraid too. Mom used to call me every day. Every other day when I was first settling in, she was forever sending me bags of rice and locally procured persimmons. Oh, the fruit. Fearful I might be so overwhelmed by the minute surrounding, I would forget to buy food for myself. Well, if you're forgetting to buy food for yourself, you might as well just die, kid. That or maybe she worried I would not know how. Fortunately, I managed to make it this far. Though I was awkward and unsure in the beginning, I survived the hostile, alien terrain of the big city. I joined the photography club at the university and I made several friends. My time in the city wasn't as bleak or as scary as I feared it would be. In fact, I enjoyed it. Eight months later and I've managed to make it back to my hometown in mostly one piece. With an expensive new haircut, and expensive new shoes, and expensive new glasses to show for my travels. My canvas bag lies on the ground at my feet. It's a small bag with only a few sets of clothes and a game console and my camera stay. Hey, my boy rocking a Switch, baby! And please let it be a Switch, dude. Only a Switch game! Come on, Switch game. Ooh, ooh. Anyways, and um, my camera stashed away inside. Oh, you got my vlogger! No, it's just, just, just camera. Just camera costume, just camera. I'm only going to be back home for a handful of days. I plan to stay for New Year's, of course, because it's a family celebration. And we, meaning me, my father, my mother, and my younger sister, always go to our local shrine together. That's it. When the 3rd of January rolls around, I'll be on this old rickety train back home. I can't afford to miss the start of new semester, not even a couple days. Time, I have discovered, moves more quickly in the city than it does in the countryside. If you miss a single lecture, you'll be scrambling around for a week trying to recover the information that slipped through your fingers. But sometimes it's too late. There's not enough time. There's never enough time. I sigh as I stare out the train's windows. It's very dark, but the stars are particularly bright tonight. I think I can spot Be Beetlejuice. Whoa, 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 Beetlejuice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Spot Beetlejuice. Hey, 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 uh, hey, buddy, you want time to go slow down, buddy? <laughs> How much sign over here? You say you had a younger sister. <laughs> Beetlejuice. Oh, whoa, there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, turn back around. Go back where you came from, duck. Now you're, you're dead. <laughs> I was like, oh, drop my eyes. It's the third brightest star in the northern hemisphere. Oh, okay. Never mind. Not that, Beetlejuice. Get, get back out of here. Go, Michael Keaton. Get out of here. Go play Batman. I know a lot about stars. My grandfather liked to lecture me about the night sky when I was little. I wasn't particularly interested. I only cared about my Game Boy. Oh, my boy, Nintendo fan! Nintendo fan! Oh! Oh! But his lessons must have stuck. Can I see another constellation out the train's windows? Oh, yeah. Can I see any other constellation out the train windows? Okay. It's hard to tell. My eyes, despite my brand new glasses, are unfocused. The snow doesn't help. The snowflakes fall slowly and lacily, swirling through the cool night sky like they have all the time in the world. Time. I yawn. <gasps> hey, old Peter. Of course, it wouldn't snow in Tokyo. That would cause so many problems. It could interfere with the bus route and the train schedule. Schools would be shut, business meetings canceled, and everything would fall apart. All it takes is a day. Time is money. 
it can only afford to snow out here in the middle of nowhere because who is it going to inconvenience? The citizens of my tiny town with this miser miserable selection of shops and only one high school. Like anybody cares. 15,000 people is nothing compared to the millions who reside in Tokyo. I can feel sleepy creep. Sleep, oh, sleep. I can feel sleep creeping up, up on me. My arms and legs drop like unwatered plants. What? My oh, legs drop like unwatered plants? Oh, okay, I guess. Womp, like limp. This limp is the word you're trying to find. Hirosama. Oh, Hiro, Hiro chan. Hiro san. Hiro san. I don't even know your name, but I'm just gonna call you Hiro. You look like a Hiro. My head feels far too heavy for my neck, as though it's been stuffed full of newspapers. It's been stuffed <laughs> with a soft yawn, and my eyelids fall shut down, and my head leaned back against my chair. I'm think, I'm dreaming. In my dreams, it snows. It always snows around here. Though I miss my parents a good deal when I went off to Tokyo, I eventually learned how to live without them. I can even iron my own laundry now. It's not nothing short of a miracle. <laughs> so I became very eerie all of a sudden. You good boy? <laughs> you wandered off there too fast. <laughs> I've always been on the short side of my for my age. I blame my mother in the gene pool with long feminine fingers and soft round cheeks that I'm still 19 years old. Oh, ho, ho, my boy. I'll be 20 next year. I'm an adult, though I don't particularly look like one. And we all have to grow up eventually. When my parents saw me off to the train station last spring, my heart full of... Oh, dude, <laughs> calm down. That's, that's scary, dog. Are you going to scare me or what? Dreams in my head full of nerves. My dad put one meaty paw on my shoulder and told me that there's nothing to worry about. Why is it so windy out there? You're my son, he said. No matter what happens, you'll do just fine. I have faith in you. Yeah, to this day. Yeah, to this day, Hiro-chan. At the time, I appreciated his, his votes of confidence. Particularly when I had so little confidence in myself. I'd like to believe I'm capable of being self-sufficient now. But I still think about my father's words from the time to time. I, I messed that one up. His serious, his serious tone was quite unusual for my dad. Who despite being tall and broad-shouldered like a cop from a film noir. Is always cracking terrible jokes. Hey, my top of dad right there. I'm up top. Up top, buddy. Up top. His sudden supportive attitude was certain, certainly new. What? He just said that he was always optimistic. How can you call this is new? Whenever I watch the television with my family on New Year's Eve, huddled together beneath the kotatsu like penguins might. <laughs> kotatsu? Kotatsu. That's what I'm reading, right? Beneath the kotatsu like penguins. Oh, like penguins. Beneath the kotatsu. I wonder what the kotatsu. My dad would point at the male idol. At the male idols. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. K pop. Mm, BTS. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> On the panel show and say, Look, you. You. His name is you? Me? Me? Can you tell me? No, I'm me, you, you. I found the perfect job for you. Haven't you ever wanted to be a model? What kind of dad is this? Hey, son, you ever tried a swimsuit? You want to try it now? Here, you got one. And he'd laugh and slap his knee. <laughs> Disrupting the top of the katatsu, so green tea spilled everywhere. Oh, the katatsu is probably the little table that they sit down on. I've never imagined that I one day miss my father who was determined to poke fun at me at every given opportunity during my formative years, but I missed him more than I expected. As for my younger sister, however. Oh boy, here we go. Hey you, are you deaf? I asked you to pass the vinegar. Baka. I don't think I could ever miss her. Otaku. 
A taco. Oh, a taco might be part. A otoko. Okay, a otoko, not a taco. A otoko might be part of my family, but we've never gotten gotten on, despite how similar we look. You guys really look that similar? I don't know, man. She, like me, inherit her looks from our mother. Unlike me, however, her feminine charm aren't as aren't a source of amusement and desire. Otoko is short and slender with a face shaped like an egg. I don't know, dude. <laughs> what kind of eggs like freaking pointy and stuff like that? She has clear skinny uh, skin, clear eyes, and the same long fingers that I have. Her nails are always filed and polished and painted. Dude, hey, okay, look, I know this is like a short novel or whatever, but it's a lot of detail for not for hating your sister, you know? She's a pretty girl! There's no doubt about it, but... I've asked you like four times the vinegar now, you baka. She's not exactly nice. In fact, nice is the last word I'd use to describe her. I'm sorry, I was spacing out. I'm tired from my trip. You do look... You do look a little pale. Would you like me to run a bath for your dear? Oh, that's weird. I don't know if that's normal, but that's just weird. Imagine, you want me to start going and put some bubbles on that too? A little, little heat oil, little yu yu? I'm gonna call you yu yu now. Ah, it's fine, mom. I can do it myself later, mom. I can iron my own clothes, mom. My mother's always like coddling people. Maybe that's why Otoko grew up to be such a pet. pet. Dad. And I'm gonna say, Dad definitely he has broad shoulders, talks like noir. I should hope you can do it yourself, being away from home for so long. A man's got to learn someday. Ha ha ha! My dad slaps. <laughs> see, see what I tell you? And slaps a hand on this on my shoulder. Ha <laughs> ha, buddy pal, amigo. Ha ha ha. There we go, right there. All oh, the slap right there. <laughs> oh dear. If you're that tired, you should have some more green tea. It might wake you up after your long journey. Mom begins to refill the cup of green tea without waiting for my response. She doesn't have to play the role of the perfect hostess with me, but telling my mother that would be a fruitless effort. I have long suspected my mom has a unique form of OCD. Namely, she just can't rest easy when there's food to serve and cups to fill. <clears throat> maybe it's because she worked as a waitress in Ryokan for a few years, or maybe it's because she missed having her family all together like this. I guess she wants to pamper me as much as possible while she has the chance. There aren't many people as compassionate as my mother, a part of Mrs. Mishama, perhaps, who used to babysit me and Otaku when we were kids. Otaku, oh, pl oh, 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 please. Why, mother is only too happy to attend to my needs. Imagine our otherwise Otaku is less. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're gonna fix it. You can't be, t can be that tired, you big baby. Tokyo's not that far away. I could run there. You, 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 yeah, you. It's six hours and my connecting train was was half an hour late. Oh, poor you. Excuse me if I don't weep my with sympathy. At least you get to live in a big city now. I'd kill to be in your position. Where's my knife? Where's my knife? Let's let's not talk about killing at the dinner table, dear. That's only for the living room. You know that. Hmm. Whatever. Otaku. Otaku. Oh. Uh, I don't know if I. I don't know if this is a third person, but I would just go with uh, what's my regular voice. Otaku rolls her eyes. The motion is particularly effective, given the ring of black eyeliner that frames her deep brown irises. Why are you checking out her eyebrows, bro? Her eyeliner, whatever, dog. Maybe we should try to diffuse the tension. The four of us might be a family. 
a model example of a nuclear unit. But hey, whoa, whoa, buddy, pal, me, come on, dog, I'll use that N word around here. But I have to be, but I have been away for almost a year. It's only natural our reunion would be a little awkward. I can't expect everything to revert back to the way it was to be over a single meal. You don't need to get jealous, Otaku. Otaku, don't. Yeah, you called them Otaku, Otaku, right? Okay. Don't call me that. Whoops. I forget how much Otaku hates it when people use her real name. Okay, Otoko. Otoko, Otoko. Not Otaku. How could I forget? Just only chewed my head off about it. Uh, whoa, dog. Hey, you, you, dog. Ever since she turned 13 and started reading fashion magazines and learned to be self-conscious. Yes, because in those self-magazines, they always go, If you ever use your first name, slap your brother and put a knife between his neck. Tucker never used to be this much of a brat when she was a kid. Puberty. Beyond filling out her figure did something rather dude stop checking out your sister bro bro is your sister <laughs> what you live in the Japanese part of Alabama or what or like Alabama-esque no stop no 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 she might have blossomed on the outside like a beautiful flower but her personality was withering on the vine Oh, I'm sorry, Otome. Otome. Our family name is Sao Otome. Ot Otoko prefers to go by a, a diminutive of that rather than her given name. Why, weirdo? Just call me mercenary. Don't call me cosmic. Just merc. Just, just merc. You know how much I hate cosmic mercenary. Well, I can't exactly blame her. Otoko inherited her name from our material maternal grandmother, but it's a pretty hefty burden to place on, on a fashion conscious girl like my younger sister. While Otoko is written with the perfect enunciation characters, those for those for sound and girl perspective, it's more commonly used in to mean man. Otoko says Otoko says as soon as she leaves home and goes to the university, she's gotta get her name legally changed. <laughs> Mom tried to talk to her out of out of it, but Otoko is as stubborn as a goat, and nothing can change her mind. That's why it's impossible to argue with her about anything. Anyways, Tokyo is oh, okay. Anyways, Tokyo is not that all, and it's cracked up to be, you know. Oh really? Really, it's so big, and there's so many people, and it can't be pretty, and it can be pretty noisy at times. So, are you trying to show off now? No, I. <laughs> oh, it must be so hard for poor little you having to go all the way off to a big bad city while I'm stuck here with this dump with nothing to do for another two years. This town isn't very bad, is it, Otome? You don't want to, you don't want to grow up too soon. Enjoy your childhood. God knows Cosmic needed to enjoy his childhood. <laughs> I am not a child. I just turned 17, Dad. Nonsense. You still look like a little girl to me. Ha <laughs> ha. Please, you'd say that even if I was as old as Grandma. That's because no matter how old you get, you'll always be my darling little girl. Dad reaches over and ruffles the top of Otaku's immaculate hairstyle. That's a hairstyle? Like a, a atrocity, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Ugh. Otaku pulls their face and shuffles away in the legs of her chair scraping against the floor. Hey. How many times have I told you not to do that, Dad? You are going to ruin my hair. Ha ha ha! Oh, that old Taku. <laughs> Dad laughs a lot. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! fatigued, but not faint and fatigued enough to forget to press a hand against my mouth. I... 
say you put your hand in the mouth, dude. Like, don't say. Oh, God. Okay. I have no desire to give my family an eyeful of half mastic masticated Niki Niki Haga Niku Niku Haga? Not on my first day back home. So, Taco, I mean, uh, Otome. Uh, yeah. Uh, Otome, uh, you want vinegar? That's what I said like an hour ago. It was like an hour ago, you little brat. You just pass the vinegar. Is that hard, you? She obviously didn't make this res uh, request an hour ago, but you don't have to tell us it obviously didn't happen, dog. I don't point at that out. Getting into an argument about semantics would be incredibly childish and pretty and petty. And I'm an adult now. Of course you're an adult. Why are you telling us then? Here. I slide the vinegar over to talk. Was that too hard? This all happened because you didn't slide the damn vinegar. As expected, she doesn't thank me. So what? It broke my feelings. You didn't thank me. I don't know why you couldn't have gotten it yourself. Or, no, sorry. And reach all the way across the table. Otaku raises her eyebrow. Do you smell what a Otoke is cooking? She doesn't say, what are you stupid? Yeah, what are you, baka? What are you, baka, baka? She doesn't say, what are you stupid? But that's clearly the message she's trying to imply. If you were closer to it than... Okay, sorry. <clears throat> you were closer to it than me. And anyway, it's just supposed to be the man. Aren't you meant to look out for your little sister? Sorry, sorry. I didn't think I had to take care of my little... Freaking dragon. No, well, you never do. I guess some things don't change. It's rare I agree with my sister, but she might be right. It's been many months since I saw her last, but she's still a huge brat. Oh, and so, honey, were you, we're, we're all curious. Uh, what's it like in the big city? You haven't been there for a year yet, but you already look different. Do you really think... You really think so, Mom? Am I looking like a man and not like my sister? That's right, you've got new glasses, haven't you? And I think you've gotten taller. I look at Mom, hopefully, perhaps a bit too hopeful, and exclaim, Huh, really? <coughs> in your... In your dreams. Thanks for being back to Earth with a bump, I'll talk with a bump. That was a... <laughs> So, dear brother, why don't you spill the beans? What's it like in the big city? I'm dying to know. Please enlighten us, little people. Well, there's so much I'm not sure where to begin. I don't uh, I don't really want to begin either. Not with a taco glaring at me with her lips pursed like she's sucking on a bitter melon. Mm. I'm too tired for all this. A train ride. They go to sleep! I must be getting old. I, there we go. Let me go. We're getting some meat, baby. I clear st a stream of water. Uh, uh, clear stream of water. Because the tap and drum against the stainless steel brass kitchen sink. The glossy soap bubbles and dances in the air. Shining with rainbows. Tonight's dinner was a veritable vert feast. Pan stankingly created for the sake of replenishing your energy after that awful train journey to use mom's words I'm grateful mom went to an extra mile for me I really am unfortunately the sheer variety of the size dish mom cooked has created a mountain of dirty bowls pots and pans they're all stacked up on the right side of the sink just like Mount Fuji in the miniature but more precar precarious of course Still, I shouldn't complain. Mom cooked all this sweet for me, knowing her. She probably been in the kitchen since the crack of dawn. She's the person who makes her own dish, dashi stock and noodles, and and not no store bought food for us. I'm a very lucky son. 
Mom went through a lot of effort on my behalf, so it's only right that I should clean up the mess my return home cost. Mom tried to wave aside my effort on my offer to help. Don't, don't be silly, dear. Or what was her? Don't be silly, dear. I don't even know. <laughs> you can't wash the dishes up in the street. You must be exhausted. But I remember firm despite the fatigue that I that had crept upon me. I hit my lathering I hit my lathering G lathering I hit my la lathering I don't even know what that was as best I could but mom lathergy I, I, I don't know but now she's uh pottered she's pottered off to the living room with dad I can't quite st stifle my yawns the soap bubbles dance before. <laughs> this guy's the freaking bubbles in his freaking mouth. The soap bubbles dance before my dropping eyes like something from a dream. Italy, I reach out and touch one. It's shining spurs. Why are we talking about food? For all two milliseconds before it bursts, it disappears without a trace as though it was never there. Unfortunately, the pots and pans. Uh, and remain and they're not going to go away if I stand here and spacing out if only Otoko would help me a little mom told her to lend me a hand but hey aren't you supposed to be doing the drying I don't feel like it but mom asked you to help maybe she did but mom isn't here to tell me what to do right now not like you ever listened to her anyways, or anybody else for that matter. Oh no, sorry. <clears throat> I've only been back home for a few hours, but Otaku's already starting to, starting to get my nerves. You know what, you're getting stuck in my nerves. Why are we here? Why are we here? I promise, promised to fall in love with a cute girl, and now we're going to have to fall in love with my sister. That's how I feel. You look... Like you had a busy day. I'll do the washing. Okay. Looks like you have a busy day. I'll do the washing. The least you could do is run a cloth over these pots and pans. And ruin my nails? No thanks. I just painted them yesterday. I don't know why you bother paint. Oh, I don't know why you bother painting your nails anyways. Nobody's going to see them. There's only 15,000 people in this city. Stupid. You think boy's going to like you? <laughs> Shut up, I don't didn't ask for your opinion. Otaku's sitting in the kitchen table, her head propped up with one hand and the other, nearly flicking through the fashion magazine. Our cat Tama meanwhile is laying in Otaku's lap. Well, <laughs> yeah, two cats think alike though. The sight stings. I've always loved cats, but I nagged my parents for one in the moment I was old enough to form basic sentences. <laughs> I'm not really sure why I was so obsessed, but the prospects of owning a cat sounds absolutely magical to me during my childhood. I begged and begged and begged until my mother finally caved into the demands and bought me a cat for my eighth birthday. That was Tama, and Tama came with a caveat that I had to look after her by myself, but I didn't care. I was happy to have a cute feline friend of my very own who I would love and cherish and whom would love and cherish me in return. Unfortunately, like most things in my life, it didn't quite work out like that. Uh, Tama has never liked me <laughs> when she lets my me pet her, which is rarely she does so under duress. Her eyes narrowed and her back ridged. I'm allergic to cats, so I really don't care about this part. I was always preferred a taco, uh, though I'm the one who used to feed her and empty her little tray. Cats be like that, man. Cats don't know the meaning of the word loyalty. Probably because the cats not humans. They don't have the thumbs we do to flick through the dictionaries. Whatever. I've often wondered if Tama likes a taco because they're so similar. They're both temperamental, selfish, and self-centered. Otaku's the only one who can carry Tama in her arms, and the only one who can make Tama purr. 
Thomas purring right now, in fact. Her fluffy body vibrating the side is rather cute. It's a shame that she never acts cute around me. Am I, I really that unworthy? Yeah, because you're a simp. But only simp talks like this. Ah, my hair's getting everywhere. Otoko. I tried to cargo. Cajole. Cajole. I tried to cajole my sister once more, but she's glaring at me and soon realized I've slipped up. Good God, trying to have a conversation with my sister is like picking my way through the field full of landmines. Sorry, Otome. Otome. <laughs> Otome, big sister. Person. Listen here, little devil. <laughs> Sorry, Otome. Don't you think this is a little unfair? Life, life's unfair. But I only just got back home, and I should have to do with all the washing and drying myself. I don't know why you're complaining. You're the one who volunteered. I know, but you're such a suck up. You, you are always trying to score brownie points with people by acting like a good little boy. I'm not a boy. Oh, I'm not a boy. I'm nearly twenty. Oh, dear boy, girl, dear boy, girl. And there is nothing wrong with helping others, you know. That's just what dad taught me. I don't trust guys who act too nice. They always want something in return. Exactly, exactly. Simp, simp, simp alert. Woo, I just want to help. Help me to do. I just want you to help me with the dishes, and the s saucepans, and the pots, pots, and the cutting boards, and the bowls, and the plates, and the chopsticks. And my pride can you clean that up too. Can you clean up my simpery? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I know there's a lot, but come on, I'm doing most of the work here. Come on, come on. Because you were so eager to help. Well, whatever. I'll give you a hand on one condition. What's that? I know Taku too well. Even if I haven't been back home in a while, there's a painfully high chance her sig singular condition will be something unpleasant. I hope she doesn't ask me to put wasabi in my eyes. She threatened me with worse before. But she doesn't threaten me and neither does she ask me to injure myself for her as amusement. Instead, she says brazenly without a shred of embarrassment I want a present pardon but I said a numbskull I want a present you peasant and uh, did you what did you do it's Christmas boy it's the 28th right yeah you didn't bring presents for your freaking family I know it's it's more like a couple's holiday over there in Japan but still dog I'm pretty sure they give presents in Christmas isn't it obvious? Um, no. Jeez, you're so dense. Otaku rolls her eyes. <sighs> you went all the way to Tokyo. Duh, you should have picked me up a souvenir or two. It's true. Why didn't you bring like little, little Tokyo things? Little Godzillas or something? Dude, is it so hard to go to your grocery store and get one of these bad boys, baby? One of these bad boys? Come on. Come on. This is so hard. Hmm. How hard, dude? I even got this pig, dog. From CVS. I don't know what's the equivalent over there in Japan, but I got things to get. I wasn't on holiday, Otako. <clears throat> I mean, Otome, sorry. Like I was saying, I was in holiday. I was studying at a university, you know, to get a job. But you were still in Tokyo. That's true. Yes, and? And I was looking for... Whoa! 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 Whoa there, Otoko. Oh, there, buddy Palomigo. Okay, we don't work like this here. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't know what I'm reading. This is weird. And this is 
And there's one here too, and they're both cute, and they don't sell any nice clothes in this crappy town. Dude, that's our clothes. Those are bathing suits. You don't talk like that. Ew, gross. <laughs> Go to the next town. Yeah, dude. I have, and they'll never have what I want either, but I'm sure they would in Tokyo. I've heard the... Bodicus? Well, boutiques, I'm sorry. <laughs> boutiques, there are huge, and the, and the malls, and it all sounds amazing, and I'd love to go shopping in Ikeba, Ikebukuro or Shibuya in Orange, Orange Shibuya. Clothes shopping is probably the otaku's second favorite and third and favorite topics of the conversation, respectively, but clothes shopping beats them. Just imagine going to the one of the malls. Hi, uh, do you think uh, it'll fit my sister? <laughs> yeah, it's for my sister. <laughs> this one side discuss discussion was actually uh, managed to bring the rare smile to my sister's lips. For a moment, she actually looked like a sweet, charming girl. But the moment soon ends. <laughs> Taco sighs and leans back in the chair, and the legs stretch her, uh, screech against the floor up presently. Thomas' ears perk up. She's always been sensitive, even the slightest of sounds. Okay, we don't need to know about your cat. I've never even been to to the mall before. Oh, I've never even been to the mall before. I want to go. It sounds like fun. Malls aren't really that interesting. They just have a lot of shops. And that's easy for you to say. Now you have all these opportunities. You get to go to huge metropolis like Tokyo and you don't even think it, to bring your little sister a bikini, a present. I'd kill to find clothes like this. She points a magazine again. Around here. You have enough clothes already. <laughs> it's true too. Otaku's close uh, closet is full of bursting outfits. Dude, we don't need to know how when you spied into your girl into your sister's freaking when you spied in your sister, dude. We don't need to know that. We don't need to know that information, dog. <laughs> Truly, this is a Western uh, Western decency at its finest. But I don't have the clothes I want. We can't always have what we want. Aren't you the one who said life is unfair? You could at least have asked me if I want any presents before you came back. Then you could have bought me something nice. Well, why would I buy my own sister a baguette? It's kind of weird. It's true. Can we stop the conversation, please? You're making baby Yoda uncomfortable. Shh, 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 baby Yoda. So you won't get me a gift. No, I'll get you a gift, but I won't get you then. <laughs> It's too late now. I'm already back home. Otaku rolls her eyes. I couldn't buy it when you got back and have it posted to me later, genius. Okay, yeah. Then you might as well order it online yourself. You're missing the point here. If I had to do that, it wouldn't be present. And why do you deserve a present? You're so selfish. All you do is sit on your behind. On your butt, on your butete, while I do the work. That's because you offered like a moron! Like a moron! You've offered like a moron, you idiot, you bucker! Right, that does it. I step forward to do what exactly? I'm not sure. Throwing my wet towel at a doggo's face is the first thing that comes to mind, but I don't get the chance to wreck my revenge. That's because at that exact moment. Tama? Something small and fury. Oh. Tama saved a taco! Okay, strike her like a drunk arm flying out. Where are the girls, dude? Okay, we I, I really did not come here from Tokyo to try to woo my sister, okay? So let's go speed it up here. I tear, I totter, and then quite spectacularly, I fall. My behind hits the floor. Oh, it's an anime moment! <laughs> <laughs> My head smacks against the back of this kitchen cabinet and while the small the small of my neck catches against the handles. 
Oh, holy. I curse under my breath. It hurts. It hurts a lot, actually. Tama, of course, escapes relatively unscratched. It gives me a withering look and drafts away like that. What happens when you get my girl, your sister, a bikini? The cats will attack. A taco snores. <laughs> you're such a klutz, you. Oh, you're such a klutz, you. That's what you get for refusing to buy me a bikini. Your only sister, a fitting present. It's a fitting. I grit my teeth together and count to ten inside my head. If I don't, I'll end up saying something I regret. Why don't you just say it? It's more interesting than what you've been saying. Oh, I remember using this fork when I was a little kid. It poked me in the tongue and I was mad at it for a while, but then I gave it a kiss and it was all better until I left it in high school. It's like stupid things like that. It's like, we don't care about the spoon and the fork and the stuff. Like, it really is impossible. All right, that was one day. That was one day. Can you believe that? Uh, okay. So let me explain. Let me explain. So I got this. Got a sale. Nintendo. Cute anime chick in the beginning. Uh, okay, we did day one. Okay, we did day one. Okay, we could. We go. Maybe we could do multiple days, but we're done here. I'm done listening to how, like, the cat's butthole shines in the starlight, just like when he was a little kid, and you try to give him medicine through there, or something. Like, I'm done here, okay? I'm done. I got some weird Alabama-Japanese incest here going on, and I don't want to be a part of it. That was first part of Winter's Daydream. So, if you guys want to continue watching... It's probably going to end all the way to the third, so it's probably like a little bit more, but you guys going to continue watching. Hopefully, you keep keep up for part number two. But anyways, guys, this is part one of A Winter's Daydream. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you didn't, don't worry about it. Same content's coming out, and I just wanted to do a gameplay of this $2 game that I got from Nintendo Switch. Uh, it's basically just a light novel, and then... Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I feel like it's going to be a lot of fun. We just hit the surface. You guys are going to be in for a twist. We're going to be for a twist. I know, I know it, baby, because I read the description. But anyways, guys, don't forget to like this video if you like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to also follow me on Twitch. I do Twitch every Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. So I'll see you then. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Stay vigilant and see you guys next time.